Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan Grice and I'm a freelance illustrator and bookbinder currently in the process of setting up my own handmade stationery company called Odd Orange. By the time this video is posted, I'm one month away from launch. If everything goes to plan, fingers crossed, which is really nerve wracking. I can't believe it's come around so quickly, but I'm so, so excited to just get it off the ground and start everything pretty much. This is the sixth episode in my video series of setting up this company. So if you haven't watched the previous five episodes, go back and watch those, then everything will make a lot more sense. But this episode is all about my second month of production, how I hand make all of my sketchbooks. I take you through the entire process. I also show you how I design and set up my files that I then send to my suppliers to get my products made. And finally, I get all of my prints and greetings cards and sticker sheets in the mail, all my finished products pretty much. So I take you through all of those, talk about how I made them and things like that. So if all of that interests you, then keep watching. Tuesday the 31st of August today and I'm in my first week of my second round of production. As you can see behind me I've been spending yesterday and this morning just cutting down the paper to size, folding it, piercing holes in, ready for the next round of books. This month it's going to be the 150 GSM sketchbooks so I'm going to be making pretty much the same thing that I made last month but in the sketchbook version with the 150 GSM paper, as well as possibly making these smaller pocket-sized sketchbooks as well. I'm also thinking of introducing another colour in the hardbacks. So for the notebooks, I did the ultramarine violet, emerald green and Indian yellow, but I would also like to do the Dutch orange just because I really like that colourway and I think it's really nice to introduce at least in one kind of book in the collection. So I'm hoping to do that, but we'll see with the numbers and things. It's a little bit up in the air at the moment, but fingers crossed. My grant came through. I'm so, so happy. I didn't think I would actually get it in the end just because it'd been so long, just in time really, because it means I can get all of my stock it means I can get my Shopify website up and running. It means I can pay a photographer to take good quality photos for me. So I'm really, really happy about that. Really pleased. So yeah, it's been a good start to the month so far. Hopefully it carries on. But yeah, I'll uh, film a little bit of me working today. These books here are all done, as in they're all cut, folded and pierced, ready for sewing. This pile here, is what I need to do. So that's what I'm going to be doing today and I hope you enjoy watching me methodically go through and fold them all and stick holes into them. I should just mention that I've had some exciting posts recently. 
I um, had some sample sticker sheets sent off and I've come back and they look so cool. I have my book plates oops, sticker sheet here and the artist palette. I'm really, really pleased with them. I've tested them out on some books and things and I think they look really cool. There are a few things I want to change like some colours for the book plates and artist palette sticker sheet design this one. I'm not so into it so I'm gonna probably play around with that design at some point. I also came up with a really cool idea for my business cards and I wanted to test out some ideas some materials i thought might be quite cool so i thought about reusing old scrap book board and prints and things and hot foil all the information onto them so i found a company that does hot foils foils for hot foil presses but they're not just the usual metallic ones that you get usually you just get metallic gold silver copper stuff like that they also do different surfaces, so they do gloss, matte, satin finishes, stuff like that. So I got some samples and I thought I would show them to you because I think they're really cool. Um, we have this gloss green. We have this gloss dark blue, looks kind of black, but um, this gloss orange and this matte orange so yeah the idea is to cut down some of my old scraps hot foil my logo and information onto the front and backs and also potentially coloring the edges so that the edges of the card has a color to it as well i'll just show you now how the stickers look on the books so i tested out how one of the book plate stickers look on the cover of the paperbacks and it's really cool i chose a sticker paper that you can write on so i've tested out loads of different materials on it it works really well with all of them this one's ballpoint and i also test it out on the end papers it isn't quite centered but i think it just looks so cool the idea of these stickers is that it gives you the option to have an area to write on so some people like to have like an area like this in their notebooks but some people like to have it plain so that's why that option's there and also um, because these end papers are patterned and you can't really write on them i do generally write on like this page but some people like to have their information on the end papers so having these stickers means that you can stick them on top of your end papers and have your information all the stickers are designed so that pretty much every single one goes with every single design in the collection so you can just mix and match depending on your what you're feeling and what you like i also tested out the artist palette sticker sheet so the idea for that one is that you can use the stickers to make color palettes like this this is a color palette i came up with i'm probably going to create a double spread of illustrations using this color palette now it's a fun little challenge you can just mix and match the colors and then create an illustration from it you can also use it to stick things in, like I've done here. I've used the dots to stick in this little scrap. You can use them to decorate your planners, to colour code anything in your house. <laughs> anything really, it's quite fun. I'm still considering whether I want to include the artist palette sticker sheet in my first collection or if I should have released it at a later date. I'm definitely going to be releasing the book plate straight away just because I love them so much. I'm now into my second week of my second round of production. I'm currently sewing all 65 of my books. This week is a busy week. I've got 10 more books to sew 
than I did this time last month. So I've given myself a little rota of how much I need to sew each day to hit the target by the end of the week. I have to order all of my remaining book cloths. So yeah, that's the goal, the target for this month. These guys are gonna be really important to you. And a lot of small businesses can buy a package policy, which has all of these elements within them. So you just pay one premium, but you've got all of the cover that you'll need. So instead of having to think, do I need this, do I need that, you sit down with your broker, and they will arrange the policy for you. Hi, I'm back. I cut my hair. Today's Saturday and I'm working today mostly because I am a little bit behind on my production schedule because I've been doing overtime at my part-time job. So yeah, it's a work day, but it's a fun work day. I spent the morning attaching my end papers to my book blocks, the ones that are going to be hardbacks. I am about to start attaching the mull onto the spines of the books that will be paperbacks. And I'm also gonna make a start on the slim pocket size sketchbooks as well, which is really exciting. So yeah, I'm just gonna see what I can get done in the next few hours and hopefully I'll be more on top of things by the end of this weekend. Good morning, it's Tuesday the 14th of September, the start of a new week. And at the weekend, I finished off the slim paperback sketchbooks. I'll just quickly show you That's how they look. We've got the Indian yellow ones. We've got the Dutch orange ones. And finally, we have the emerald green ones, little frogs on it. They've got the gold foil logo, the cloth spine. It's stitched in matching colours. And you've got a nice amount of pages to sketch in. 32 pages to be precise. It's really good for smaller projects, month-long art challenges. I like to take these kinds of sketchbooks out if I go um, join on location for things like museum visits or if I'm going on a particular trip away at the weekend or something like that. Um, I didn't film the process for it because it was getting dark when I was filming and you wouldn't be able to see much anyway. These books are the ones with the mull on the spine that are ready for the covers, which I'll be making today. And then I'll be getting them trimmed and then they'll be done. Good morning. It is Thursday the 16th of September. I'm having a bit of a designy day, which I've been really enjoying. I dropped my books off at the printers to get trimmed last night. So I can't work on them, which is why I'm spending my day designing. I have finished pretty much all the designs and set the files up ready to be made from my suppliers. So I've done the A3 art prints. I formatted the greetings cards the sticker sheets and a bunch of other things for the making process and I thought I would just go through them all and show you. I've made a few changes here and there. It might be fun to show you my process and the software and things like that that I use. So I've been doing a lot of my designing on my iPad Pro just because I find it 
more enjoyable and intuitive to use. I've been using the Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator app on the iPad predominantly and I'm really enjoying it. So as you can see, obviously the book plate sticker sheet hasn't really changed. I just changed a few colours and some type. The artist palette has changed a lot. I'll just get rid of the cut marks so you can't see them. So this is what the sticker sheet is going to look like. It's on a nice green. I changed the type around. The colour dots are still the same. I added this little like white shadow around each colour. It kind of looks like the ends of like a pen, specifically like the Copics. It makes me think of like them, like marker pens, which I quite like. It's quite a cool retro design. So I'm going to be sending that off to print. The greens cards are all done. That's how they're going to look. They haven't got the type on them because I'm going to be hot foil pressing the type. So these are just like the print files. I designed my business cards. I talked a little bit about in like the last video, a couple of videos ago. I tried to match this like beige colour with the grey board. And so as you can see, it's going to have the, uh, the back of it with the name and um, strap line. That's going to be embossed. This part is going to be hot foiled with like a gloss orange or gloss green. And then if you can see they've got pink edges, that just shows that I'm going to be colouring the edges of the greetings cards. So that's what that's going to look like. And I'm going to be sending these files off to get the brass dies made for hot foiling. That's what I've been doing today. I'm going to be ordering in all the stock after lunch. And I'm really, really excited. It's going to be... <laughs> A big loss of money in one big go, but yeah, then I'll have all the stock and it's going to be yeah, really great. Can't wait. Hi, I'm back. It's been about a week since I filmed last time. I was mostly making the covers for my hardback books, which I've already filmed for my last round of production last month. So I didn't really film that, but my second round of production is all done. It's all finished. So next week I'll be going on to my third and final round of production, which is really, really exciting because there is an end in sight. <laughs> but another reason I wanted to come on today was to show you some of my products. I ended up ordering all of my products last week and they all came in today. I'm so, so happy with them, so excited. And I thought I would just go through them and show you how they look. First of all, my greetings cards came in. I'm just gonna show you one design for now because as you can see, I need to hot full stamp them on the front and fold them. So they look really cool. This is the froggy one. I've ordered the envelopes as well, so they should be coming in next week. So that will be done by the end of next week and the cards will all be ready to go. I also ordered my sticker sheets. So I got my book plates sticker sheet, which I'm just obsessed with. I just love it so much. The other sticker sheet is entirely different. The artist palette. It matches the other one a lot more. It just looks a lot better. It's more simple. And I also got my art prints in and they're so beautiful. I printed them on this gorgeous textured paper. So we have the first design, which is cobalt blue. These are all A3, so it's a good size for your wall. If you don't want it too big, you could go with an A3 frame, or if you want like a nice big statement, you can go with a bigger frame that has like a border. It's a digital print, so it's not going to be as expensive as a Giclée print. It does mean it's, that it's not as archival, but it is still really long lasting and really high quality nonetheless. And the print quality is beautiful. So that's Cobalt Blue. Now we have Rose Madder. They're all inspired by museum posters, so they have like design here and then the name of the colour underneath. I think they all work really well in different areas of like the home things. I think this is, this one is quite versatile. I think it would look nice in like a living room or a bedroom. The cobalt blue one would look really nice in the kitchen or like conservatory or something. Next we have Indian yellow, which is one of my favourites. I just love that. I love the texture in the piece. 
We have Indian yellow, Dutch orange. Again, I think this is a really versatile piece. I think it would look so nice in like a kitchen or a dining room or a living room, even like a bathroom if you have quite like an art deco-y stylish bathroom. <laughs> Here is the cadmium orange. I also really love this one. I think these two make quite a nice set together. You could do like a set of two um, or a set of three with another design because they all go really well together. We also have emerald green with the little froggies. And last but not least, another one of my favourites is the ultramarine violet. Again, this would look so nice in a bathroom or if you have like a coastal theme or a bedroom, anything really, because it is quite versatile. A lot of these have different colour palettes, so a lot of them will fit different kinds of furniture styles and colour schemes in your home. Those are all the prints. I'm so, so happy with them. I can't wait to get everything out and show you all, um, have them up on my shop. It's gonna be all so excited to have it all in front of me to see the collection as a whole. I'm just gonna go through my books that I made last week, just quickly show some new things that you haven't seen before. So these are all the books that I made last week. I think last time I filmed myself, I was finishing up the book box ready to make the paperbacks. These are pretty much the same as the notebooks, same design, just with the 150 GSM sketchbook paper. Really, really beautiful paper. Hardbacks, again, are pretty much the same as the notebooks, but with the different paper. And I did end up doing the Dutch orange sketchbook. Um, I'm really, really happy with this one. I'm glad I decided to make this colorway because I just think it's so beautiful. It's got the orangey red cover, cream accent color. It's got the matching orange ribbon bookmark and end bands. Embossing. And then the Dutch orange end papers, which just looks so beautiful with this orange cover. And then the 150 GSM sketchbook paper. I really love this sketchbook paper. I've been using this sample sketchbook. So this is the 150 GSM paper and it's the paperback format. And I've been really, really loving it. I have shown you some of the previous stuff I've done. So I showed you that. And then I think I previously showed you the stickers from my artist palette sticker sheet. And I said I was going to do a spread using this colour palette, which I did. And it was so much fun. This uses watercolour and coloured pencils. So with this one, I did the watercolour background. And I just love how this watercolour looks. I like how it has like a slight grainy effect to it. It just sits so beautifully. As well as the coloured pencils looking good as well. Like I could get a really smooth, opaque finish. I find that often with paper, if I want watercolour to look good, coloured pencils don't look good because generally it has to be textured. And if I go with smoother paper to make the pencils look good, the watercolour suffers. But I find this fine grain paper is a really good balance between the two mediums. Look how that coloured pencil is sat on top of that watercolour. It's just so nice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just geeking out over paper. I do this a lot, especially that lighter green. It just looks so nice with the watercolour. But yeah, um, I did that and I also did another watercolour and coloured pencil landscape. So this page had watercolour, quite a lot of watercolour layered on both sides. And as you can see, it hasn't really buckled that much, only slightly, which is quite significant because with this much watercolour, usually paper buckles quite a bit. But that's the bonus of having a good thick 150 GSM paper. I hope you like the little insight into my sketchbook. So that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching the entire thing and getting to this point. Next episode is all about my final month production, finalising all my products. 
I show how I hot foil and prepare all of my greetings cards, as well as a bunch of other things. So it's another exciting episode. So keep your eyes open for that and I will see you soon.